Welcome to the General Chemistry 2 class. This section is on chemical kinetics. This lesson is about the collision theory. Let's begin. In this lesson, we will explain reactions qualitatively in terms of molecular collisions. Recall that one assumption of the kinetic molecular theory of gases is, is that gas molecules are moving particles that collide with each other. With this, it is also possible to assume that a chemical reaction is caused by collision of reactant molecules. The collision theory postulates that a reaction is caused by effective collision of reactant molecules. The success of our action depends on how reactant molecules collide and the energy they possess. It is also assumed in this theory that the rate is affected by the frequency of collisions or the number of colliding molecules per unit volume per unit time. Consider our action A plus B forming products whose rate law is given by rate is equals to K times concentration of A times concentration of B. The rate of a reaction is a complex mathematical function of different factors. Steric requirement, encounter rate, and minimum energy requirement. The steric requirement describes the proper orientation of A and B during collision. The encounter rate is a function of the mean speed of A and B molecules and concentration of these molecules. The third factor, minimum energy requirement, is an exponential function of the energy barrier that must be overcome for a reaction to occur. With the factors mentioned, here are the requirements for a chemical reaction to occur. First, there must be correct orientation between reactant molecules. For instance, the reaction of nitrous oxide and nitric oxide to produce nitrogen and nitrogen dioxide, the oxygen of nitrous oxide colliding with the nitrogen of nitric oxide is the favorable collision in order for the products to form. The reactants must possess enough energy in the form of kinetic energy to overcome the energy barrier called the activation energy. As the reactant molecules collide to each other, energy redistribution occurs which arises from various bond forming and bond breaking processes. Since kinetic energy controls whether the activation energy can be surpassed or not, the speed of colliding molecules must be sufficient. During the progress of a reaction, the reactant molecules undergo a state in which they transition into product molecules. This state is called the transition state. The species temporarily formed herein, which consists of partial bonds or bonds that is partially formed and partially broken, is called an activated complex. The activated complex is obtained as the energy reaches the activation energy. The Maxwell distribution of speeds describes the fraction of molecules as a function of speed. Since kinetic energy is directly proportional to speed, K is equals to 1 half mv squared. The same plot can be used to analyze the fraction of molecules possessing a certain kinetic energy. The shaded region on the right shows the fraction of molecules whose kinetic energy is equal or greater than the kinetic energy. For any reaction, only a small fraction of molecules successfully collides and proceeds to product formation. Let us now use the collision theory to understand the effect of different factors on the rate of reaction. Increasing reactant concentrations speed up reactions. Greater concentrations means greater number of molecules present, implying more frequent effective collisions. When the frequency of effective collisions increases, the formation of products will occur faster. Increasing the temperature speeds of reactions, as temperature is elevated, kinetic energy possessed by molecules increases. The increase in kinetic energy causes the molecule to move faster allowing effective collisions to occur more frequently. 
Consequently, faster rate of reaction is observed. Looking at the distribution plot on the left, we can see that increasing the temperature increases the fraction of molecules that can achieve the activation energy, suggesting that the energy barrier is easier to overcome and the reaction proceeds with a faster rate. To summarize, the collision theory is based on a postulate that reactant molecules effectively collide to each other in order to form product molecules. For our reaction to occur, colliding molecules must have proper orientations and the molecules must have enough energy to overcome the energy barrier. The collision theory is useful in understanding how reactant concentrations and temperature affect the rate of reaction. That's all. Thank you. Welcome to the General Chemistry 2 class. This quiz is about the collision theory. Let's begin. Determine if the statement is true or false. Collision frequency is the number of colliding molecules per unit volume per unit time. Number 2. Which of the following factors is not included in the mathematical function for the rate of a reaction? Number 3. The starting factor in the rate of reaction describes the blank. Number 4. Which factors affect or affect the encounter rate factor in the rate of a reaction? Number 5. Which of the following factors is or are requirement or requirements for a reaction to occur? Number 6. Which of the following is or are false about an activated complex? Number 7. Determine if the statement is true or false. Maxwell distribution of speeds describes the fraction of molecules as a function of speed. Number 8. How does increase in reactant concentration increase the rate of reaction? Number 9. How does increase in temperature increase the rate of reaction? Number 10. Consider the reaction Y yielding S with a rate law given by rate is equal to K times concentration of Q. If the reaction is first carried out with initial Q concentration is equal to 0 0.10 moles per liter and temperature is equal to 325 Kelvin, which conditions on the right will cause the greatest increase in the rate of reaction? The correct answer for number 1 is true.